Hey, I'm Scotty, and today we're gonna to be looking at improving our line art by balancing expressive lines with control. This is what I've been working on the last few weeks to improve my line art. So first I'm gonna be using my extra fine tip brush pen. This will give me a little bit more control than the medium tip that I've been using. So instead of some really thick lines that I've been doing, so sort of like this expressive, I'm gonna add a little bit more control and I'm gonna show you how. I was told never to do this kind of line work. This is like a chicken scratch, but people do that because it gets control. So how do you balance the expressive line work with this controlled way of drawing? Okay, I'm gonna start drawing this reference in the top corner and make my way across here with different references. What I've been working on is to sketch with layered lines. So they're medium, they're not little tiny lines or long strokes, they're medium lines with gaps between. And then as I go, I can adjust to imagine that I'm going around these shapes. And then areas later that you need to firm in a bit more, you can go back can form around things. So you've still got control, but you can add through this layering, you can add a bit of that dynamic feel from thick here to thin. So this way of doing the line work, it just changes my um, attitude to how I'm forming the shapes. It gives me time to think. And this is just a stylized sketch, so it's not, I'm not trying to get it perfect. And the line works quite nice. If you look at what I did in my last tutorial, you can see the line works very thick and a bit more out of control. Uh, so just a different style. Okay, so I'm gonna add in another little face down here. So this, instead of having a hat or a very round head, this is a bit trickier. So I'm looking at this shape and just so sketching the lines. I'm molding and shaping that, that line. In the next reference is quite tricky. There's lots of folds. We'll draw this up here. We'll add a little bit more ink. Okay, so I'm using those short lines, layering them. So yeah, I found it a lot easier using the style of layering, forming the shapes with short little sketchy quick lines. Each time I got a little bit better. And as I get away from the face, those short lines can be a little bit more dynamic. So these lines here are a bit thicker. And I'm leaving the gaps to help me adjust each one and then I can fill it in a bit later if I need to. Okay, so with this line work, I've got uh, thicker dynamic lines. So here we go, thin to thick to thin. But then in the inside, we've got thinner creases, little wispy lines, which help describe. Okay, I'm gonna sketch my next reference right here in the corner. So I've got the structure of the face, happy with that. Um, I feel like I'm getting a bit more used to using this technique. Squeeze in another one here. I've added a bit more ink to my pen. I'm sketching around the shape. All right, now I've got a line work with all the little sketchy lines which help form all the, the shapes. Now I'm gonna go in with a thicker line and add some darker value. So we fill this sketch page with all different types of portraits where I'm using dynamic lines but very short strokes layering on top of each other. You see, you can see the forms but there's little gaps between the lines to help adjust as I'm going. So I've enjoyed this process. I hope you did too. Let me know if you've got any more comments or things I should work on with you and I'll see you on the next one.